Hello, I'm Jeff McNeil, and this is my review of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Ultimate Evil Edition. And for the remainder of the review, I will simply refer to it as Diablo 3. The end times have come to the world of Sanctuary, as a star has fallen from the sky, bringing with it hordes of undead. As one of several adventurers, you travel to New Trisdrum, a town that's basically been the center of everything terrible in the Diablo universe, in order to seek out the falling star, fight back the undead hordes, and discover what's actually going on. The story itself isn't anything particularly fantastic. It's all pretty standard, like, evil, spooky, you know, bad things are happening, so we're gonna go and fight the bad guys kind of thing. The game is structured into an act system, and each town ta you enter each act basically has its own self-contained issue that ultimately leads back to the main goal of trying to stop the end of the world. The game's basically story strength, though, comes down to the different characters you can meet. Not everyone is spectacularly well written, but your party members all have their own individual little quirks and to their personality. And while everything is very standard and it doesn't do anything surprising, it's decent enough for this type of game. It acts as a framing device, and nothing more than that. In terms of graphics, I wish I could give this game more credit than I can. Unfortunately, as you can see, the game is kind of an over-the-top RPG, which tends to cause some of the game's details in regards to enemy designs to just fade out. Like, half the time, I'm not totally sure what it is I'm fighting. Um, they're just things. Rather than any distinct designs. Now, there are, of course, a few designs that stand out, but for the most part, it's just the Horde. The game would benefit greatly from a model viewer, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing of that sort. The game does run, and, you know, all your moves and special attacks, they're all very visually impressive. But I wish I had a better view of the monsters I'm fighting, just, just for my own sake. In terms of music, well, all I can say that that is what music. Like, I'm sh there is music, but you will never hear it. If it's not just basically absent, it's always being drowned out by the sound effects or characters talking or... Honestly, if the game didn't have music, like, at all, I probably wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. It's just something so benign and empty. Voices, though, I actually think are quite well done. The entire game is fully voiced. All the characters, all the... Even minor characters and shopkeepers have voice lines. And listen to characters dialogue change as you progress through the game is actually rather interesting and I think has a lot of a big part of why I playing oh there are a lot of these things wow there are really a lot of them um, but it's a big part of why I think this game is as fun to play as it is by having the, you know, characters talking with each other and interacting and 
talking about the situation around, and I think that goes a long way. So, while, you know, music is a non-issue, the sound effects and everything do work out decently enough. In terms of gameplay, well, it is a dungeon-crawling RPG. So you're going to be spending a lot of time going through semi-randomly designed dungeons, fighting hordes and hordes of monsters for loot. And this is a loot-based game, and... Oh, it's up there. And so a lot of your fun is going to be based on what loot you have. At first, the gameplay is honestly not all that fantastic. Your character is very limited, you're just going to be spending a lot of time just holding down one button just because it's all you really need. But I eventually, once you brother. start getting some of the game's more advanced skills, some new I loot, you can actually get some really crazy stuff going on. So, the game is fun, and you will very quickly see your character progressing and growing in interesting ways, but the gameplay is honestly, like the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is honestly not that fantastic. A lot of this just kind of exists. Um, it, it's very, very simple, very easy. My first playthrough th through the game was a complete non-issue in terms of difficulty. So, th there are like a million and one difficulties to unlock, and it does become quite difficult, but not in any real interesting ways. There's no puzzles or anything either, just lots and lots of guys that you're just gonna beat on until they die. So whether you have fun with the game really is determined to how much the grind means to you. How much you're willing to just put up with doing the same things dozens upon dozens upon dozens of times for what is effectively just the same thing that you've been doing before. Now there is a lot of post-game, but same thing. It's still just doing the same things you've been doing before, which is just fighting a bunch of enemies with a bunch of skills. and. The only real interesting part of the gameplay comes down to when you start getting legendary items or when you start getting legendary sets and you start seeing unique abilities and builds come into their own. So that is a major part of the game and it really is kind of the only draw of the game. So. You know, if you don't really want to deal with the grind, then this is not the type of game for you. Overall, Diablo 3 is a decent loot-based RPG. Now, it is showing its age a little bit in certain aspects. I wish there were a some more visual options as far as being able to look at enemies, being able to see the world a little better. And, you know, the gameplay isn't spectacular on its own. It, it is fun and it is addictive, but this isn't going to be something that'll change your world. This is something that you'll just play here and there because you've got a little bit of time, you can just complete a dungeon or complete some of the radiant quests, but it's ultimately how much you can stand the grind and how much 
increasing numbers mean to you rather than any spectacular moments. So, this has been Jeff McNeil. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.